all the dancers all over the world looking for a golden era. Nostalgia of the past. This is the most important point we have to put in mind when we running after understanding the meaning of golden era. Let me tell you, before uh, 100 years, or let me say 150 years, was difficult to find a real story about the golden era. So for this reason, I love very much to tell you that we will start a series of videos about the golden era. I will start with one teacher. Her name is Badia Masabni, was the mother of artists. After Badia Masabni's mother left Cairo with the train, went to uh, Levant area, Badia came back to the theater which I told you about it and she started with them for much more rehearsals and she worked with them for a period of time but was boring for her she was looking for something special and she doesn't know exactly what she wants to to do what she wanted to do until she met someone I think his name is Sheikh Ahmed El Shami Sheikh Ahmed El Shami I never heard this name before Sheikh Ahmed El Shami, he had also in this time a band and also a theater and he asked her to work with him. She went to his band and they started to do uh, much more rehearsals. Then they traveled together, I mean his band with Badia and him, they traveled together to uh, many villages here in Egypt uh, performing their arts, this type of arts in these villages. Of course, she studied a lot in the beginning with the first uh, 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 theater and then with Ahmed El Shami's band in this uh, theater. So she studied a lot. By the way, in this time, when she traveled to all of these villages, she started to understand the Egyptian music and uh, the songs and also the, this type of art. She saw a lot of dancers, I mean folk dancers, and she started to grow up with her uh, experience in this, uh, in this type of art. And she was a singer, much more than actors with him. Then, in 1925, she hears, 1925, she hears about a theater in Cairo, and this, and this uh, theater was famous for vaudeville. Vaudeville, it is, uh, as I know exactly, uh, a music hall theater. By the way, 99% of the theaters were in city center, as I told you. This uh, theater was also in city center, so she went to watch them to see what are they doing in this time, of course. Most of the theaters in this time, they were playing drama and tragedy, except this theater. So she decided to go and went to watch this, uh, this, uh, this theater. This theater was, belongs to Najib El Rihani. This name was um, a strong name. And still, if you ask any one of your friends, I mean Arabian or Egyptian about Najib al Rihani, they will say, wow, a lot of wonderful uh, experience, a lot of wonderful words, a lot of wonderful things we saw from him. So she went to watch his band on a stage. Najib al Rihani, he heard that she was in, uh, in, the, in, the, in his uh, theater. So he asked to meet her. They met and then he uh, asked her to work with him. Okay, she agreed, of course, because she wants to, uh, uh, to be a singer with him too. She asked him how much he will give her uh, per month. Najib Rihani, he said that he will give her 50 pounds. Of course, 50 pounds in this time was wow. 
too much money, but she refused. Why? She told him that how come that she will leave 300 pounds per month to have in the end uh, 50 pounds. 300 pounds to 50 pounds. Nothing. He said to her it is with the full accommodation. In the end, she agreed and she started to work with him. This was 1925, the same year when she married or they married together, 1925. They stayed together uh, around 18 years until uh, 1943. During this time, she created her uh, cabaret, Badia's cabaret. Uh, I don't know when exactly, I tried to find exactly when I started Badia Cabaret, but I didn't find the date or something like that. It was not so easy. But Badia said this cabaret was uh, uh, huge and big. By the way, she said that this cabaret was, uh, was uh, a roof garden, restaurant, cabaret and cafe. 500 workers were working in this cabaret, so it needs actually a management, a right management. Uh, let me tell you something. All this time, Badia was working in the first uh, theater, then with the second uh, uh, band with uh, Ahmed El Shami, uh, helped her. Plus, also, I mean, plus also her her husband Najib El Rihani. All this time, helped her in two ways. The first way, the art, she, she started to know exactly, to become deeper inside the art, to understand exactly all these uh, types of arts, starting from music, songs, and uh, uh, also a, a play on a stage, dancing, yes, also too. And the other way, management. So, both of these ways, helped her a lot to manage her, her cabaret right well. For this reason, 500 workers, not so easy to, uh, to manage them alone, but she did it alone. Her husband was working in TV, I'm sorry, not TV, <laughs> in a cinema, in this time, cinema and the theater, and other side she was working sometimes with him too, and most of the time in her cabaret. 1943, they divorced, and uh, after that, around maybe 20 days or 25 days, her husband died. So, she became alone, completely alone, concentrated to get that. She was hating the belly, uh, belly dancing. Why? Because she said belly dancing was boring. For this reason, she tried all this time to find a solution to, to create something new. Or let me say, uh, North Africa, in addition, some Arabian countries and the uh, Levant area, all of these areas were under the uh, Ottoman uh, Empire. And in this time, the Egyptian music, oh, I'm sorry, the Arabian music was uh, everywhere in this time. And the Arabian music, as I explained to you before, uh, mixed between Turkish and Persian music and some Arabian music too, some uh, a little type of Arabian music too. But this is uh, this music was only for the Arabian people. Uh, so she was the first one who mixed between the Egyptian, I'm sorry, the Arabian music and the uh, the orchestra, uh, the European bands. She said she mixed it between both of them in her cabaret because the Arabian music in this time was boring and sometimes people doesn't like it. I mean the foreigners doesn't like it, but the Arabian, yes, they like it. 
And also she said that it was not so easy to mix it or to, 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 to let them working together, play music together, because there were two tones were very difficult. Uh, the Nahawand tone and Sika tone. These both were, were very difficult for the orchestra, but for the uh, Arabian band, this is okay. So she mixed it between both of them and she started to change, as she said, the way of the belly dancing to be an oriental dancing. Why belly dancing is just only for 60 steps, but oriental dancing uh, have or have full of. Uh, 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 a high steps or uh, uh, wonderful steps full of uh, 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 folk steps and something like that. Plus also there were a lot of bands, uh, international bands, international groups, international troops, they were working inside this uh, uh, cabaret too. I mean Badia's cabaret too. So she made something new to attract the audience because audience needs all the time something new to see and to watch and something like this. Also she said that she never danced, but she was famous for the mother of oriental dance too. But she said yes because she understood every single point inside this type of art. But she never danced honestly. She was a singer, a vaudeville only. Vaudeville it means a music hall. Huh? Uh, she loved this type of, uh, of art much more than acting or dancing. Also, she said that she never used any dress, I mean, uh, I mean uh, oriental dress or belly dancing dress, but most of the time or all the time when she is on the stage, she was wearing uh, a soiree, soiree dress with jewelry and something like that. All this was the root of the golden era. A lot of dancers, a lot of actors, a lot of singers, they went to this cabaret or they started from this cabaret to be famous all over the world. Let me tell you something, Farid El Atrash. Farid El Atrash was one of these singers who started also inside this cabaret, as she said. And she said when he uh, came in the beginning, was very young and was playing mandolin, only mandolin. And then step by step, he started to understand the low, uh, uh, oud and start to play oud and started to uh, do his music and songs, but inside this cabaret. From the cabaret, after that, he became famous outside the cabaret. So this is another point I love to share it with you too, to, to tell you that. This cabaret was uh, very important in Egypt long ago, which made most of our uh, singers, dancers, and also actors and actors, actresses. Uh, as I told you, the, there were a lot of uh, dancers, they went or they started from this cabaret, such as, uh, by the way, such as Tahiya Karyuka and uh, Samia, Samia Gamel and, and much more. Uh, Badia said or mentioned Tahiya Karyuka, she was, she said, Tahiya Karyuka was the best of the best. She has uh, a, a sympathetic face, she said, a sympathetic face, and she uh, was the, she was number one in the cabaret, in this cabaret. She said a lot of uh, information about her and of course about Samia Gamal also, when they started, what they did. Also, uh, 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 she said, I mean, uh, Badia Masabni said that she worked outside the cabaret too. Uh, she traveled by her band or with her band and some dancers uh, with her, they went to uh, many or several uh, cities all over Egypt, villages all over Egypt for wedding parties. Over 5,000 parties she did in this time. And suddenly uh, a disaster had happened from the kingdom at this time. They asked her, uh, uh, the government, I mean from Egypt, they asked her for much uh, taxes she has to pay in this time. 
so she hadn't enough money. For this reason, she went uh, back to Lebanon and uh, started uh, her business in Lebanon after that. But the story of Tahia Karyuka and, and uh, Samia Gamal, wonderful story, and she mentioned them several times and a lot of wonderful things she said about them. All of these points you will have it or I will, I will explain it to you, but in the next video. So, please stay tuned with me and wait for me for the next time. Please, also, if you have any question or any comment, write it down. I, I will be very happy to have these comments or these questions from you. And also, if you didn't subscribe until now, please subscribe with me and share this video with your friends and wait for me in the next time for the next video.